Welcome and good morning to our God's Word for Today devotional. We will be having our devotional today in Psalm 135. This is a long chapter, 21 verses. Let's just move along the verses. Uh, let me read first the first four verses. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Give praise, O servants of the Lord, who stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing to his name, for it is pleasant. For the Lord has chosen Jacob for himself, Israel as his own possession. I think it's obvious that this psalm is a, is a praise psalm. This is a descriptive praise that extols God for his greatness and for the blessing that his people gets. Like Psalm 134, the previous chapter, it calls on the priest to praise the Lord. There is a call to the worshipers to gather in the temple to praise God because he has chosen the nation Israel to be his people. Now remember that when we think of our relationship with the Lord, it's not about us choosing God, but it's God who chose us. Even John 15, 16, Jesus has highlighted that he chose us. You did not choose me, but I chose you that you should go and bear much fruit and that you, you, your fruit would remain. In the same manner, that was the case with the Jews. They were chosen because of the prerogative of God, because of God's grace and mercy upon them. God's choice of Israel is particularly significant. Why? It's because anything God does is deliberate. It is as sure and certain as his acts in the creation and control of nature. It's deliberate means that the, we are not an afterthought. They are not an afterthought. They are not incidental. Even the Bible tells us that we as his children have been chosen before the foundations of the world. In the same manner, the permanency of his choice to the nation of Israel is in accordance or is in the same way how he established his world. Let me read verse 5 to 7. For I know that the Lord is great, and that our Lord is above all gods. Whatever the Lord pleases, he does, in heaven and on earth, in the seas and all deeps. For it is who makes the clouds rise at the end of the earth, who makes lightnings for the rain. God has a purpose, and he knows the end from the beginning. Nothing that happened is incidental or an afterthought. God has deliberately created this world. And in the same manner, when he chose you and chose me and he chose the nation of Israel, there is that intentionality in the, eye, in the eyes and in the heart of God. God demonstrated his special care for the people of Israel by rescuing them from Egypt, conquering their foes and giving them Canaan for their homeland. This is one of the reasons why we have to praise the Lord. Verse 8 to 14 goes this way. He it was who struck down the firstborn of Egypt, both of men and of beast, who in your midst, O Egypt, sent signs and wonders against the Pharaoh of and all his servants, who struck down many nations and killed mighty kings, Sihon, king of the Amorites, and Og, king of Bashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan, and gave their land as a heritage, a heritage to his people Israel. Your name, O Lord, endures forever. Your renown, O Lord, throughout all ages. For the Lord will vindicate his people and have compassion on his servants. Clearly, the psalmist just deliberately or just elaborately um, reflecting the goodness of the Lord by, by his acts of superintending and overseeing the nation of Israel from Egypt towards Canaan. By contrast, the so-called gods of other nations are merely useless and lifeless pieces of stone or metal. Look at verse 15 to 18. The idols of the nations are silver and gold, the work of human hands. They have mouths but do not speak. They have eyes but do not see. They have ears but do not hear. Nor is there any breath in their mouths. Those who make them become like them so do all who trust in them. All Israelites should therefore offer thankful worship 
to the covenant God in lieu of what we have just read the previous verses because of what did what God did to them when they were slaves in Egypt and giving them the freedom to go and possess the promised land and even how God had uh, power over useless and lifeless idols. We should be like these people. We should be prompted to, to praise God. This is how the psalmist ended this psalm in verse 19 to verse 21. O house of Israel, bless the Lord. O house of Aaron, bless the Lord. O house of Levi, bless the Lord. You who fear the Lord, bless the Lord. Blessed be the Lord from Zion, he who dwells in Jerusalem, praise the Lord. Yes, to remember what God has done, to remember his sacrifice at the cross, the Lord Jesus Christ gave his all. We should be encouraged to praise God, to thank God, to bless him, to extol his name. It's not about what uh, we have received only, that we are going to be thankful, the salvation that we have, but who God is to us. Now, there are, there are times that we focus so much on what we receive from God rather than focusing on who is God. Let us continue to focus on who He is and, and what He has done is always a reflection of who He is. Who He is is more important. And I pray that we will continue to worship and praise God because of what He has done as a reflection of who He is, that He is a faithful, covenant-keeping God. Let us pray. Father, thank you for your word this morning. Thank you for the history, the account when we read the Old Testament of how you deliver the nation of Israel out from the bondage in Egypt towards the promised land. And in this manner, we can just but be awed and filled with wonder because of what you did to us, Lord, when you were sinners. Christ died for us at the cross in order that you can have the salvation. We could have the relationship with, with you. Thank you, Lord, for your word this morning. I pray that this will continue to encourage us that we will not be discouraged to um, be affected by the challenges of life. Some of the challenges are so um, so strong and we need your encouragement, Lord, to, through your word that you love us so much unconditionally. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Mm -hmm.